The B.C. government says our economy depends on it, and it seems nowhere would LNG have a bigger impact than here in the north. Several pipeline projects are in the works. Now the province is offering a dramatic way to learn more about liquefied natural gas. Sparking interest in B.C.'s energy future. Easy when you get to see it up close. What does it mean to burn a fossil fuel? What does it mean to liquefy a gas? And hopefully give them a foundation so when they have questions about projects coming up in their area, they can ask the questions to, to get the answers they're looking for. That's the reason for the province's regional energy seminars. Prince George is the first stop on a seven-city tour through B.C. The government is sponsoring the presentations so people can learn more about liquefied natural gas. You can see it has no odor. It's cold. It's cold gas, but that's all it is. Like I said, most people have never seen it before. It's never outside of the containment vessel. But that's what it LNG like. so can be used as a cheaper fun. alternative to diesel fuel so in buses, ships, and heavy machinery. Compared to coal, it's a cleaner form of energy. LNG is the very well. same yeah. natural yeah. gas that's used to heat homes. Area. So that's minus 149 degrees Celsius. So it's the exact same product. It's primarily methane uh, with a, some other minor, a little bit of ethane, a little bit of uh, propane. But it's the same thing we use in our houses. It's just very, very cold. It's the very cold version. Clean energy expert Sean Turner is based in California. He says there, LNG has been growing in popularity over the last 15 years. Let's do something fun here. This is the same amount of energy you would store in this volume as LNG. So you can see, if you want to take this somewhere, it's a lot easier to take you know, a bunch of baseballs in a ship you know, as cargo as this size or this volume compared to taking gas with you. The BC government is hinging its hopes on LNG. Billions of dollars in projects are proposed. Spectra Energy wants to build an 850 kilometer pipeline to Prince Rupert. Often um, we come across uh, people, communities who have misinformation and they're not sure. So whenever an event like this takes place, it supports all the proponents. Not all opinions are represented at this event. A new report predicts demand for LNG will actually decline because it's a fossil fuel that contributes to climate change. A question about the wisdom of hooking econ uh, BC's economic engine to a resource that, you know, as the world puts in place stronger and stronger climate policy is going to be declining. As locals learn more, proponents say communities so. across the north will benefit. Where it ends up at the end of the day, I'm not sure, uh, but it sure is exciting to be part of something so big in BC at such an important time. Decades from now, see we'll see we if LNG lives up to the hype. Much, much smaller, it looks deflated. But if we add Camille heat, McDonald, CKPG News. So the, benefit of having the LNG Energy Seminar is open until 9 tonight. Tomorrow, the public can take in the displays from 7.30 a.m. to 3 p.m.